back to Veil vale of Tiff MTG. I'm your host Tim and this is episode 7 of Implements of CDH. We are nearing the season finale, but do not worry, more content is already in the works. For the next few episodes, I had the pleasure of recording with a very funny and cool guest, Josh from Elder Drunken Highlander for this video. He is on his jaws fine. We're gonna need a bigger plane, Shabra's Brawling deck. Spoon is also back here with his Poly Urza deck. Shastok is back and wants to watch the world burn with Bergy, and I finally me on my well-known tentacle sushi list. Any pre-games? No pre-games. Is this the is this the order then? Yeah, yeah, this is the order. Awesome. All right, then I will untap, upkeep, draw for turn. We're just gonna play mountain and pass. Um, I guess we'll do that. There we go. Draw for turn. Play a mana crypt. Play a command tower. Play a brainstorm. Main phase brainstorm nice. is always cool. Draw right. three. Put one and two on top. Play jeweled lotus. Crack the Lotus for Flea Black, cast the Tevesh. Uh -oh. Ow. Make two buddies. Uh, two buddies here. A six here. Well then. And I will put a dice on top of my library to remind me of the crypt and pass the turn. I'll, uh, I'll draw a card. Hmm. It's a tough act to follow, right? I just drew a card that's weird and makes me rethink my decisions. That's annoying. All right, whatever. Um, play Crypt. Let's go for an Arid Mesa. I'll crack it for a Volcanic Island. I'll lose a life. Are you going to Wheel of Fortune? No, no that would be kind of bad now that you played Tevesh, right? I feel like it's not not a good play. Um, I'll play Phil, the ghostly pilferer, leaving oh, a mana nice. floating. Then I'll grab my volcanic island and I'll pass it up. Duke. Phil said, oh. whenever we do something. We'll play a snow-covered island. We will play a mox diamond. Discarding a snow covered island. Uh, we're also going to play a Tormod's Crypt. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we'll play a Preordain. I think we'll put them both back on top. Draw that one. Uh, we'll play this here, Jeweled Amulet. And then we'll pass it after that. Alrighty. On top, I'll keep draw. Jeweled Amulet is pretty spicy in Urza. It's Mountain, cool. and put an Everflowing Chalice on one kicker, and pass. Cool, yo. Let me roll for Crypt. Uh, odds is damage as always. That's natural 20. Nailed it. I'll take that. I will draw this mystery card, which is not a real mystery card because I know what it is since I put it there. Uh, I will play a Morphic Pool. I'm gonna sack one of these dudes to draw two more cards. And. I guess I'll tap like this. I have one colorless floating, play a phantasmal image. Would you like a fill? Yes, I would like my own fill, thank you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm gonna pass the turn after that with a really weird hand. I'll draw. Okay. Did you roll for crit? Oh yes, thank you for reminding me. Uh, evens is bad. That's good. 
Alright, um... Let's cast Brainstorm. I'll draw three. I'll put... Um... One... And... Two cards back. I'll go for a Lotus Petal. I'll play City of Traders. I'm gonna crack the Lotus Petal to add a blue, and I'll cast Windfall. Yep. Alright, how many that. how many cards does everyone have? I have six. So we'll discard and draw six. I'm discarding Intuition, Dispel, and Mana Drain. Ooh, yeah, they're ready. I'm discarding a Breeding Pool, Warden Catacomb, a Bloodstained Mire, a Neoform, my own Windfall, and Seedborn Muse. Oh, nice. Got Island, Dig Through Time, Fact of Negation. Mine was a Braid, Renegade Tactics, Crash Through, Tormenting Voice, Pass in Flames. Oh, nice. A Chrome Mox. Six cards, I'll, right? Yeah, I'll six. put mm -hmm. Guild of Drake in the Chrome Mox. Yeah, six cards. We'll tap City Traders for double colorless. Spend one of it for a Soul Ring. Tap the Chrome Mox, and I'll cast Mystic Remora. Yeah. And then I'll go to combat. I'm going to swing two at. Um, I'm going to swing. I'm going to swing two at Shestock. One, two. And then I'll pass it up. Okay. Uh, on your end step, I'll put the charge counter on the jewel to amulet. Snow Card Island for turn. Try to cast our Urza. So me and Josh will uh, draw first while it's on the stack, right? We'll ship it after that. One, two, three, cast Burgy. Triggers. Trigger. Pass after that. Roll for Crypt again. That's a 13, that's damage. Ow, I go to 37. Hey, my name's the... I'm gonna draw for turn. I will play this island. I guess I will eat another throw to draw two more cards, because drawing cards nice. is cool. I'm gonna play an Arbor Elf. I will break the cycle of violence and cast mm -hmm. a Skull Clamp to let him draw for fish. Thanks. Cool, and then I'll use one other floating of the Skull Clan to eat the Arbor Elf, since I don't have any forests, to draw two mm. more cards. I'll cast my own Chrome Mox and exile okay. this Elvish Mystic. Then I will go to the attacks. I will discard this basic Swamp to make mm. him unblockable and hit Spoon for two. You know, just a nice friendly mm -hmm. visit. I And pass the turn. We'll untask. Yeah, I'll, I'll pay for fish. I'll play a Mox Diamond. I'll discard Marsh Flats. I'll leave a Colorless floating, and I'd like to cast Smothering Tithe. I'm gonna cast an Arcane Signet. Yeah, we'll go to combat. I'll discard an Echo of Eons to make Phil unblockable this turn, and I'll swing two at Tevish. I'm gonna I'm gonna pass the turn after that. At the end of your turn, feed your fish one more time. But I'm gonna trophy your uh, smothering type to give you a land. When you play another land, sacrifice it. Well, then you're not playing that I'm land. Say no, right? Ah, it does not trigger off of lands that are put onto the battlefield without playing them. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. I can only be the one that kills my city of traders. I'm gonna get a uh, basic island into play. Untap. Up, keep drawing. We're gonna play a flooded strand. I think we're. Gonna, uh, we're going to cast a Proteus Staff. Terrifying. Uh, trigger? Uh, will not pay. I'll show you a Force of Will. Ooh. Ooh. Not paying for fish, obviously. We'll go with that. Staff goes away. Let's... Gotta crack the Flooded Strand right now to go get an island. Julio. Pay it to one life. Whoops. Get the right tab. Pay a one life. Um. Purple orb. 
I think I forgot to roll for crypt. <laughs> On my turn. You probably did, but... I think that's right. Yeah. I'm gonna roll for crypt, and then I'll draw off the torpor orb. Even spell. I'll pass on the torpor right. orb. I'll take three. I already blew my force. Actually, that sounds like the fastest oracle deck can't can't win anymore with that on the board. Screw my dockside extortionist. I'll pass priority. <laughs> All right, torpor orb. Uh, then we'll go to combat, mm -hmm. and um, we're gonna. Let me think. Let me think. We can back you up on that Buddha. The, the chopping the old Tevish? Yep. That Tevish was so nice to you. <laughs> oh, he's actually five with the orb. So he's on one. Second main, we'll cast a Sensei's top. Fish. We're going to try to deck Josh here at some point. <laughs> I guess so. that's the new goal. <laughs> um, and then if top's okay, I'll pass. Cool. Top. Upkeep, draw. First, I'll go to combat and I'll swing three at Tevesh. Second main phase, play mountain as my land for turn. I'm gonna tap five mana and flashback past in flames. Josh is gonna draw. Um, when you flashback past yeah. in flames, uh, go see pill for triggers. And yes. Mine too. She starts going for it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> All right, cool. So these get flashback, pass some flames, exiles. We have the one floating with Burgi. Our hand is irrelevant. So we're going to use the one to cast a crash through. Give uh, Burgi trample. Two through. triggers. Yeah. Yep. You guys can just take them. Taking them. And then we will draw a card. That goes to exile. We float the red. Let's use the one again for renegade tactics. You guys have triggers. Target creature can't block. I'll say Urza can't block this turn. Oh no. <laughs> you guys have drawn your cards. We get the last part of renegade tactics to draw a card. And then... He's so cool. Let's do the one red here and cast a burning inquiry. That's oh. from my hand. Oh, yeah. No. Uh, oh, Trigger again. Uh, I'll draw oh, a card. Just got the at random. Yeah, th that's really bad. Oh, no, thank I... you. So I'm discarding curiosity, shadow skull smashing, and is it signet? Lay merchant scroll and fabricate. We're discarding Glorious End, Arcane Signet, Mountain. Alrighty. We have one floating from the Burgi. I'm we'll let discarding. the inquiries resolve. No! The Oof is gone. The Oof. The Oof, the Ponder, the Praetor's Grasp. Can we go nuts? Yes. So, go so nuts. I'm going to yeah. use this one red mana and cast a red blast targeting Urza. Oh my gosh. Ooh. That's brutal. Ugh. We don't like that. Um, guess in response, I will pay one to spin the top. Mm -hmm. Those do not help. But we'll put them back thusly. Kaboom. And then I'll pass the turn there to you, Death. So uh, I guess I'll roll for crypt. I got a spooky script, buddy. That's so you just have to enjoy the time you get, you know? Well, yeah, that's, that's the whole problem. <laughs> Yeah, so it's, I'm going to do the reasonable thing. One of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to cast a Rhystic Study. I'd like to respond to Rhystic Study. Go ahead. I'm going to cast a uh, Force of Negation Exiling Git Probe. Ooh. Ooh. I would like to show you a Veil of Summer. Ooh. Ooh. Dang. Okay. Uh, trigger fish. Yeah. I'll draw. Draw, draw it. Here goes the Wizard Battle. Right. I'm gonna it's I'm gonna so pay two life and mental misstep. I'm not gonna fight for this. He's only got fifteen cards left. You're you're wearing him down. I have fourteen actually. Oh, see? Yeah. 
Yeah, in progress. Rhystic Study, Exile, Veil of Summer countered, I don't draw a card. Well then I'm just gonna play a land for turn, being a rejuvenating springs. Pilfer is a 2-1. Indeed. Yeah, I'm gonna hit you with it. Ouch. Okay, I'll take two. <laughs> and then uh, I will pass the turn with a big sad sadness in me. At the end of your turn, I'll pay three and I'll cast Occult Epiphany, X equals two. What? So I'll draw two and then discard two and I'll make a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token for uh, each card type among cards discarded this way. <clears throat> I will discard a basic planes and a Dockside Extortionist. I'll get two 1-1 one, one white spirit creature tokens. Aww. Damn, dude. So spooky. Indominus Padres Santi. Then I'll go to my turn. We'll remember to roll for Crypt. We will pay for the fish using City of Traders. Evens is bad. That's good. Let's exile a Simeon Spirit Guide for a red. I'll cast a Rite of Flame to add two red. Spend two red tap mana crypt. Cast Brawlin, Sky Shark Rider. Trigger. I'll draw a card. Indeed. Cool. You may proceed. I would like to cast Savine's Reclamation. I would like to target Curiosity in my graveyard. Probably should have held the Tormods up, but... Yeah. GG's, Josh. Yeah, hey. GG's. On it goes. Yeah, and then I'll, I will discard a card to fill and repeat the process until... We're dead. Everyone. The only interaction I had was a miscast, which you still had enough mana to do so. Yeah, I had a I had an Is It Charm too, as well. I was I hadn't played my land yet, and I was sandbagging some more mana so that I could also recast the um, the beans wreck if it got countered. 